Is it too late to start Amazon KDP in 2022? In this video, I'll be going over exactly what you must know. What's up guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I make videos on self-publishing, entrepreneurship, and making passive income online. So if you're interested in those kind of stuff, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. So in this video, I want to talk about, you know, is it too late to start Amazon KDP? Is it too late to start publishing in 2022? So right now it's, you know, kind of quarter four of 2021 and we're approaching 2022. A lot of people ask me these questions. Well, basically every single year, there's always somebody asking and there's always somebody saying that it's too late to start Amazon KDP right now because it is saturated. It is too saturated. And uh, basically people have been saying this since 2013, every single year, and people are still making money. So the short answer, you can cut the video right now if you want to, it's not, uh, it's not too late. But if you stick around, I'm gonna visually show you exactly why it's not too late to publish uh, in 2022 or maybe 2023. And it's something that you can go and research on Amazon yourself and get some proof too. So again, uh, going into my slides here, you know, again, Ever since KDP started in 2013 or 20, uh, 2012, every single year there has been people talking about how it's too late to get started with KDP and how it's too saturated and competitive, right? So in this video, I wanted to cover that. And quick answer, you know, is no. There's still plenty of space to come in and make money on Amazon KDP. Um, there's still plenty of niches, you know, that is untapped, untapped keywords. And there's also new keywords popping up, right? Uh, every day that you can publish and make money in. You know, new keywords examples are something like a trendy topic, like, you know, a couple of years back, it was fidget spinners, right? Fidget spinners wasn't a keyword until it was invented. And a uh, couple of years back when it blew up, you know, it became a keyword and a lot of people made money. Of course, you know, it's a trendy topic, right? But it's the same as Bitcoin, right? And there wasn't a single book on Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, but now people are literally making 10K a month just from one Bitcoin book. And as people invent more different, you know, cryptocurrency, different coins, you can maybe, you know, make a book on that too. So basically there's new keywords popping up every single day. And that is why when you argue saturation, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, it might be saturated on some keywords, but there's new keywords that is completely untapped popping up every single day. So there's always more room for you to publish in. Basically, you just need to know where to look. So another reason why newer publishers actually might have an advantage is because of the Amazon algorithm and how it's set up. So Amazon pushes new book often to page one or pretty up there for the main keyword for the first 30 days um, once it's published to see how well it converts. So basically what they're trying to do is to test your new book uh, by giving you more impressions and more traffic than normal for the first 30 days to see if your new book converts better than the existing books on page one. And if your new book can prove that, you know, it, it converts better than the books on page one, then Amazon will rank your new book higher than the other books that were previously there. So that is why new books actually have an advantage. You just have to know how to launch your book so that you can properly show Amazon, you know, that your book converts and it deserves to be on page one more than the other books that was already there. So this is why sometimes when you do keyword research, you see a lot of books with like low reviews uh, that was just published showing up on page one because of this, you know, it's called the new release boost and it applies for the first 30 days when the, the book is live. So this is a big reason why you can always compete even if you're brand new because Amazon's algorithm is on your side. All right, so I have a couple examples here on new books that are killing it right now. So if you want to see if it's too late to publish in 2022, or, you know, if you still can compete, obviously a good sign that proves to you that, uh, it's not too late. You know, you can still make money with new books being published in 2021 or 2022 is basically if you can find other books that are just released, that is coming from another self publisher, not like a big, you know, authority figure, because if there's another person just like you, who's a self publisher doing the same thing, publishing books in 2021 or 2022 that is crushing it, then that's a sign that you can do it too. And that's a sign that it's not like too late to start Amazon KDP. So that is why you want to find a book that is new released that is doing good. So we got a October 25th, 2020. Um, so this is, you know, 
published last year. You can see that this book is, you know, in, basically if you want to find a book that is um, self-published, you just come down to publisher and it says independently published here. And that's a good sign that they're uh, self-publishers like us. 15,000 BSR in the bookstore. So that is really good. So that's a uh, proof that it works, uh, or, you know, proof that you can still make money with uh, Amazon. So this one is a audiobook and also a paperback. I don't know why they don't have the Kindle version, but the audiobook just came out September 22nd. So literally um, a couple days ago. And it's 16,000 in Audible. So that's really good. Anything under 20,000 is doing well. You know, probably making uh, a couple hundred bucks or maybe more like more like 500, 600 bucks a month or so. And it's a very basic cover. This is in a relationship niche and, uh, you know, doing good. So again, another sign that is uh, doing well. So this is another audiobook in the relationship niche. Very basic cover, 100%. They just used Fiverr for five bucks uh, to make a cover like this. And 15,000 in Audible. So again, at five hours, so they're making around $4.6 in royalties. Probably pulling in like six, seven hundred. I'm just guessing, by the way, but it's like maybe a thousand bucks. I don't know, but it's around that range, you know, a month. So it's a very successful book that is just released. Now, this is a interesting one. It's published September 29th. So literally like two, three days ago, dream interpretation made simple. One review, very basic cover. I don't know if this person is an authority figure because they do have a publisher, like publishing company. Um, I don't know, but the book sales are insane, 1,865. So this is another sign that new books can still compete uh, on Amazon and still do well. And I'm gonna show you how you can find more books like this yourself. So all you have to do is to find a category called the Kindle um, Hot New Releases category. So you just go to bestsellers here, right? And you just scroll down to uh, books, or you can also do it with Kindle books, audiobooks. It's kind of the same thing. Um, you just go to any categories that you want to check out. So let's say we do like children's books, for example. Basically, to find a hot new release category, just go to any category you want to check out, right? We're under the best selling categories. And then in the middle, right here, there's this new releases here. So you click on this new releases here. And now we have Amazon hot new releases category. So all of these books are new releases that just was recently published uh, that is incredibly successful, as you can see with the BSR being super low. And basically from here, if you can find self-published books, then it's a sign that, you know, we can still compete. And uh, if you look for it, you know, you can find a lot. So again, just go down here. And then if you have DS Amazon Quick View, so it's one of the plugins uh, that you can install you can see this you know, feature coming up uh, under the product details. You can see publishers. So if it says independently published right here, then uh, that's a sign that you know they're doing the same thing that we're trying to do. So I don't really see a self-published book here, but again, this is just one category. So you can go ahead and try and look for it yourself. And I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of books like that just proves to you that it's still, you know, possible to compete in 2022. So again, Amazon KDP, to summarize all this, it's still, you know, very profitable. You just got to know uh, where to look when it comes to profitable keywords that has low competition and also how to launch your book properly so you can rank it. So if you're interested in learning how to do all that, I do cover all this in my complete Amazon KDP course. The link will be below this video as well as all the tools and resources that I personally use in the video description. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like. Uh, let me know any questions you have in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.